Hey guys, I'm sorry that I'm not in school today, uh, but I want to be sure to go over some things with you so that you have what you need to continue working um, with our Raspberry Pi project. So first, when you look for your stuff today, a lot of that is relocated in the bottom of the orange cabinets um, over against the wall. So there are blue cabinets toward the front of the classroom, orange cabinets toward the back, and down low, your pie kits, the free Nove component kits, the keyboards and the mice, those are in the two double drawers that are closest to the door. And then the monitors are where they've always been. And the um, uh, power supplies, you know, like the extension cords, all of that is where it has been. So you're gonna get all that out today. You're gonna work with it um, just as if I was there, but I need to review a few things and be sure we're clear. Um, just about some expectations. So if you'll look, I have updated our stream with some more details about really where we should be as a class. So yesterday, not everybody, but most groups got through this test your circuit and scratch piece of the Dancing Rainbow Challenge. Um, so some groups have not. and. Um, you are you're kind of all starting over today because you've got to rebuild it which is fine but help each other it's okay with me if for today you want to work with a partner and you guys get one pie out and one free nove kit out and work on that breadboard and pie together if you don't want a partner and want to work on your own get out your own stuff but you will each be responsible for building this from scratch on your own next week so just kind of choose wisely what you think is going to be best also be mindful that there are two resources you've got to have open while you're working today. So over in classwork, you need this just to get started and then you've got to have this open and follow those instructions. We're not just like making this up as we go. And I know yesterday I had to go remind people sometimes like, um, you need your computer open, like there's stuff you're supposed to be reading. So when you're first getting started, and you're going to the Raspberry Pi project page. Why is this taking so long? long to load? Remember, I'm expecting you to read through these things. Um, in the stream, I've left some details just to try to clarify, because I know there's times where I'm like, oh no, just read that, you don't have to do that part. So, the introduction, read it. Your rainbow's atmosphere, read it. Your rainbow's first color, which is here, Read, but don't use this diagram to connect your LED. Use the last diagram on the slide from the Free Nove slide deck. So I think this is memorable for most of you, I hope so, but remember, on that Free Nove slide deck, I gave you the diagram that has all the parts we have. The Dancing with Unicorns pie page, they're not using a cable extender, and so sometimes it's confusing. We are. So these are jump wires, that black and the blue, that is the 220, 220 resistor, 220, all right? Don't change that number. And then remember with the LED, it matters which leg is long, which leg is long. The positive one is the longer leg, and you can review that by coming up to this uh, slide up here. I don't know why it won't let me click it, but so be it. So the long leg is connected to the resistor, which is connected on the breadboard to that jump wire, which is connected to 17. Our black wire, that's just another short jump wire. Yours is gonna like stick up really high. But that's ground, and then that's connected to the short leg, the negative leg, the negative pole of that LED. So if you follow those steps, it should work. If you have trouble, you might get another um, kit out and trade out a dread breadboard. You really need to connect um, the wires all the way down. Sometimes you have to push a little harder than you think, so be mindful of that. Once you've got that ready to go, um, test your circuit and scratch should be next, and you're using scratch three on the Raspberry Pis. And then control your rainbow circuit, as where I think some people will get today. Um, I don't expect everybody to, but this is kind of where I think most, um, most groups will be today. And these are just some different um, challenges to bring in even more LED lights. Your LED kits only have, um, four colors I think but guess what I got from Amazon like the whole rainbow these white ones are actually purple so I'll have all of these fun colors um, next week 
so that we can really make like a full rainbow. Um, and then we'll be doing more work with it even into next week. All right, toward the end of class, please be sure that you're putting things away safely. Um, these are the things we're working through today. And have fun, good luck building. Um, don't feel intimidated and be careful with your supplies, all right? Uh, you can email me if you have questions or run into problems. I'll try to stick near my email um, during this hour. Take care.